Hey everybody, so it's overlock day here at the uh, storage facility and um, it's that time of the month that we go around and uh, when payment has not been made, we, uh, we got to remove access to, uh, to the unit so that we can get paid. So um, I go through this process in a little more detail uh, in another video I made about three tips for handling delinquencies. You can check that out. I'll put it up at the top here. But um, every so often you run into one of these little things where, uh, you know, just these little insider tips as far as management. So I've got a, a unit here that uh, payment hasn't been made. It's about 10 days late. Uh, and I need to go ahead and uh, put one of these little little overlocks here on. Uh, but, well, wouldn't you know, look at that. I mean, there's actually already two locks in here. There's two spaces. And, uh, man, I, I can't get my lock in. Gee, what do I do? I guess, um, you know, I guess they foiled me. I guess I'm out of luck. Not exactly. So, uh, in this situation, um, you really want to try to prevent this from happening in the, at the first place during your move-in process. You want to make as many things clear as you can. Uh, and one of those is that one of those spaces is for us as the property. So, uh, the tenant can use one, uh, we get to use the other, right? So, really they shouldn't have two on there, but um, instead of having to go through and, and uh, cut one of their locks off, I have got a, a nifty little gadget that I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so I've got this little... Uh, little claw tooth gadget here which is coming in super handy uh, so when both of these um, locks are being taken up uh, these lock spaces on the latch uh, this nifty little uh, gadget here will actually allow me to get down in between those locks and, and just go ahead and lock it anyway and then I can put my disc lock right in here so net result is um, I'm not foiled after all so let's uh, see what it looks like after it's already on all right so here we go this is what it looks like uh, when it's on so as you can see, I didn't really have room uh, to get my disc lock up here in between these two. So I got my little uh, little gadget here. I don't know the exact name for this, uh, whatever. I don't think that's super important. But anyway, so I got my little teeth in there where, where it could not get in. And then I went ahead and I just put my disc lock down on the bottom. So same purpose, right? The unit's overlocked. So there you go. Locks on and uh, doesn't come off till I get payment, right? So. Um, just a handy little tip there if you ever wondered like, well, what if they put two locks in there and now I, well, I guess I don't get paid. Nope. It's not how it works. So uh, I always get paid. Um, so there you go. I hope that was helpful. Uh, this has been the self-storage guy. Bring you another little tip here as a part of the self-storage 101 playlist. You guys have a great one.